Hi Dolly friends, it's me Holly. Welcome to my channel and I am going to be unboxing this Sense and Doll which is an early release from like 2009 by Ruby Red Galleria. And here we go. So for those of you who may not know, the Sense and Doll, um, like I said, was a Ruby Red Galleria. But if you'll notice the website here, it actually says Kish and Company. So I'm guessing back in 2009, the Sensen brand by Ruby Red was actually owned by Kish. I don't know the history of that. So if anyone knows the history of that, let me know. But um, her name's Lucy. Anyway, this doll is the 12 inch Girl in Motion doll, which is the same body as my Leah. And I will get my Leah out in a moment here to show you. So here she is. As soon as I got Leah, I kind of went nuts and was like, I must have more. And I couldn't find any more on eBay that were affordable. She's lovely. She has the inset eyes. And then she is a Japanese character. Oh, there's a knot. No. Oh, she's beautiful. Wow, she is way looser jointed than uh, my Leah is currently. And that's probably because she's older and has been used more. Oh, her hair is beautiful. It's a dark, dark brown with some curls in it. And her, oh wow. So her outfit unbuttons like the actual, <laughs> the actual buttons loop over. So I'm going to have to decide for sure when I want to actually remove that because that's a commitment. If you see her pretty face, she has beautiful inset eyes with rooted lashes and a pretty delicate light lip color, uh, which in the pictures when I was looking at her, I was a little nervous that they'd look a little too like plasticky paint, but no, they're actually beautiful. It's very nice, nice neutral tones. And then she has little velvet shoes to go with her outfit. And the thing I thought was neat about her dress, I will likely dress her more modern uh, ultimately, but I noticed the dress is kind of poofy, like it's pleated poofy and then gathered on the bottom here with like a satin lining. And it's just really beautiful. Here's the knee joint. So it's a double joint. And let's see how far it goes up. So she is a double jointed. It's not at, I mean, it's pretty good, you can see. The knee joint there. That's pretty good. All right, now I'm going to go get my Leah and we will see how they are different and how they are similar. So right away I can see the difference in the skin tone. Uh, Lucy is much darker complexion than Leah. And the features, I think the features, eyes of Leah are definitely a bit larger than Lucy's. Oh, Leah and Lucy. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Let's see. Leah has a wig, but I think it's glued on. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to easily change her wig out. And I don't think she's going to have the removable magnetic cap like Leah does. So I could change out her eyes if I wanted to. Um, of course, Leah is really decked out here. I don't know that I want to take her boots off just to look at her ankle joints. One of the main differences I imagine. Uh, so Here's a torso for Lucy, but Leah, my Leah has a very mature bust for her, uh, her size, but she has a little more detail, a little larger chest, but she also has a torso rotation, which I really, really like. It just makes it fun for posting. I mean, posing. Okay. Let's get a closer look at their faces together. You can see. I feel like they complement one another very nicely, which is something I really wanted. I wanted her to have a friend that was similar enough, but still very different. So, and I do believe they look very different. <laughs> All right, I have a different outfit that I would like to put Lucy in. I kind of planned on this outfit for her. So she's a little more modern dressed. So I will be right back with that. Okay, so I actually have Leah's original box here. You can see her original outfit and she's actually, it's a 12 inch in motion girl. 
not girl in motion, but that's the name of the body style that they have. And in this box, because I got her at the UFDC convention, you notice here this says that she's the UFDC 2018 convention doll, and they still had a few left that were being sold there at the 2023 convention. However, everyone kind of went nuts for Leah, and she was gone the first night. So I was really, really happy I was able to get in there and get that. So these are some of the clothes I bought while at convention for both Leah and Elowen. But I have this pretty dress that I thought would be perfect for Miss Lucy. Oh, and I even have some little socks that she can wear. Perfect. And this dress here I put together for Leah while I was there at convention. I think you probably saw some photos of it, along with her pretty hat. Oh, and here is, just to show you some of her original stock, here's a really cool backpack that came with Leah. And it has some fun binoculars and so many actually functioning pockets. Like every one of these pockets not only opens, but it has a seal with a zipper or Velcro or both. So really huge attention to detail uh, on Ruby Red's part. They are phenomenal with their detail. So really highly recommend. I'm just getting more and more into their dolls and it's a it's a slippery slope. You buy one and then you buy more than one and before you know it you've just lost count. So that's I think the road I'm venturing down now because I actually have a whole bunch of other well not a whole bunch. I have a few other ruby reds I purchased while at convention that I haven't even shown you yet. Um, so that'll be fun. Anyway let's get Miss Lucy dressed in her new outfit shall we? Okay, before I get her dressed, I thought I would show you the full body of hers so you can see the jointing, the rotation of the leg. I did notice, unfortunately, though, that her shoes did cause some staining on her feet. So both feet have some staining, and that's unfortunate. But, you know, she's been in black shoes. I, she's probably never been changed. So she's been in those shoes since 2009, since she was put in the box. So that's understandable. And then I did show you the knees already, but that is, that is the 12 inch in motion girl figure. I think, I don't know how much they, if they're all different now, if the Leahs have all have a little more mature bust, but um, she does not have that. Anyway, let's get her in her clothing. Here she is in her outfit, all dressed up. I think it looks really pretty on her. I love the colors with her eyes and hair and her complexion. I put the, this could have been waist or headband, either way really, but I put that in her hair kind of with a side knot. I tried it a few different ways, but I just, that's what worked. And then I gave the burgundy ribbon as the waistband to kind of add a nice contrast. And then I gave her socks to go with her black shoes. I actually love that she comes with black shoes because at convention when I was buying shoes from a vendor, she didn't have any black. I did buy extra white ones because I she said I could paint them, but now I have black ones, so I don't have to worry about it. I just need to get some really nice blue jeans, Leah sized blue jeans, because I don't know, for whatever reason, sometimes I like to dress my dolls in blue jeans and a sweatshirt or a sweater actually. All right, so here they are, friends. Yay, she has a friend. Sadly though, my Leah now has to live in my china cabinet because yes, my cat Nora has discovered the mohair wig and she's been assaulted a few times, so she has to be tucked in safe. But look for, forward to more uh, Leah content because the hunt for more and clothing for them is only just beginning. Uh, this, I believe, is going to be my new obsession doll. So, you know, doll collectors usually wind up having at least one or two or 50 uh, obsession dolls. So look forward to that content. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was actually going to try on. So her jacket that she comes with is lined in pink, uh, a really pretty pink satin. So I was going to see how it looked inside out. I know it has a tag on it, but I mean, who's really going to notice that? So let's see how this looks. I just thought that could be really cute. 
I am always trying different ways of using things and because the lining is so clean and how it's been pieced together, I mean, it's basically like a finished jacket. There's no rough edges anywhere, just such a high standard of work that's put into these dolls. So if you haven't already looked at some Ruby Red Galleria dolls or even the Fashion Friend dolls, they're just really top notch in, in their assembly so far that I've had. And they have changed, um, I guess in the past, some of the eyes, it had issues with eyes turning purple, but I think they've resolved that. So anyway, here she is with her jacket. What do you think? Keep it on, take it off. Obviously don't do that, but not really sure. I'll have to think about it, but there she is now, how she looks. And thank you so much for watching. We will see you guys later. Bye. as I was taking photos of these two dolls together, I noticed that Lucy seems to be just a little bit shorter than Leah. Um, not by a ton. Anyway, interesting observation. Toodles.